darkness is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town. played with a 4-4-2 and it can still be a very good system but it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations let's hope they play it well today that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack Tomiyasu Lacazette Arsenal could threaten from this position a really top-notch piece of defending. Oh, it might be. Can they cover up? Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper. To be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It was always going to be difficult to score from there. Won it back. Aubameyang. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Mane and Liverpool might be able to cash in a Liverpool free kick coming up Jota and a timely intervention Saka now Lacazette Far from a good pass. Tierney. Mane. And plenty of room in the wide area. Mane trying a different avenue. Thiago. Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. Given away by Arsenal. Mane... He read the situation defensively and did his job. Bit of a sloppy pass by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. 
And Aubameyang making the move with the ball at his feet. What's he going to do next? They're trying to get right into his face. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Kieran Tierney. Gabriel. Thomas now. Bukayo Saka. Thomas. Arsenal have given it away. And they know they need to stop him. Mane. Arsenal have possession again. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. This is Thiago. Mane making sure it didn't get past him. Mane. Precise ball movement. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Saka. Farsi. Lokonga. Now with Aubameyang. And return to Aubameyang. And with the goalkeeper. And that brings to an end the first half. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Tierney. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. And unable to keep possession. Saka. And space for them here on the flank. In position at the back post, Aubameyang. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. A running room in the wide position, but really sticking to their task defensively. Delightful pass. Well, not to be... He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. And Thiago lost custody of it. And up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. Lacazette. Lokonga. Cross could be useful. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Thomas Partey. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not a touch off the defender, last of all, so a corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, the clearance, half-hearted. And in the end, no damage done. Arsenal could threaten from this position. Chance to play it in. Well, the threat was very real, marvellous defending. Salah, Fabinho now, Salah, and a fine cross, and they couldn't quite muster a real threat, Fabinho, Jota, Salah, and a goal, just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil, there it is, they're in front, 
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Pass lacking precision, too strong. Time and the scoreline against Arsenal. Can they cover up? Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Not a memorable effort, though. Well, you have to question the decision-making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Well, there to intercept. Lacazette here. Gives it a go. And that wasn't a million miles away. Almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Aubameyang! Well, able to close down the short. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Surely! Oh, crucial! So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal.
It is Liverpool up against West Ham United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Oh, surely. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. It is a decent looking attack here. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Thiago. Mane. Firing it in. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Shot up. Well, no way through. This is Thiago, nicely blocked. And over comes the corner. And it still could be dangerous. But he was in the right place to intercept. And the referee says play on advantage Liverpool. Mane. And this is Diogo Jota now. A super tackle and they've won possession. Henderson. And with that, the attack fizzles out. They've regained possession. Virgil van Dijk. Thiago. Henderson has it. Thiago and no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper now they've lost it Fabinho now he's given us away Henderson, Thiago, can they forge ahead? And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Aaron Cresswell, 
excellent vision. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Danger averted for now. Diogo Jota. Henderson. He made it look simple, really. Options in the middle. Henderson. And Thiago. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep them quiet. Well, the ball rolling again. West Ham trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? Salah. And he cuts inside. Henderson. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Could be a chance to break here. Well, Sadio Mane can help the attack in so many different ways and really contributing in this game, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the oh, two... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Oh, great block. Salah. Alexander-Arnold. Will he find the net? Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. So the corner played into the box. And still dangerous. Well, threat averted. Jota. Opportunity here. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Now the action continues. And no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Declan Rice not the pass he had in mind well as the stats confirm Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball they've passed it well their movement's been good and they've been well worth their lead could get even better here Poor pass. Salah. Henderson has it. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Failed to keep hold of it. Thiago. And a fantastic diving save. Playing it in. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Jota. Brilliant save. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Breaking at pace. Henderson, Thiago, just wanted to get it out of there, Declan Rice, Ben Rama, and he keeps going, and the flag has been raised here, well there can't have been a lot in that. Alexander-Arnold Henderson has it a bit of running room now on the wing well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Jota here's Fabinho Henderson oh surely well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save 
The save was a good one. But he's gone short with it. Jota has someone to play it to. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. And the short option preferred. A Liverpool free kick coming up. And Mohamed Salah now. Using his body to good effect. Perfect tackle. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the office as far as...
some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. given us away and plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position well you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow Stuart what do you think we'll see from him today well he's such a natural finisher he has everything a good goal scorer needs composure technique and awareness he will certainly need to be tightly marked today Yarmolenko, Pablo Fornals with it, Kurt Zuma, Andrei Yarmolenko now, Rice with it, Antonio, Doughty defending to win the ball back. Albert Sambi Lokonga, now Lacazette. Stopping out the danger. Can you please make your way to reception after the game? Thank you. Options in the centre. Struggling to get it away. Well, they can bring it out now. Vladimir Kuval. And showing fine vision. Still not clear. On a time for composure on the ball. And he could really get at the opposition. Lacazette at the ready. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Space afforded him. Antonio. Perfect challenge. Crossing opportunity. Oh, he's left his marker for De in with a chance. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. 1 0 then. Tomiyasu. White. Well, here we are, moving close to half-time, and Arsenal chasing the game. Stuart, what have you made of their performance to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers... And they got to it fairly easily. Yarmolenko. And he's taken it away. Tomiyasu. Bukayo Saka. Effective challenge. Saka Lacazette here well he really read that brilliantly and the whistle is sounded for into the second half then West Ham with the advantage but certainly no room for complacency Yarmolenko. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Lacazette. Bukayo Saka.
Obama Yang. Brilliant save. So the corner played into the box. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. So West Ham get us moving again. And a swift response required after the setback. Space on the flank. Said Benrama. Really good challenge. Now far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Yamarenko. That's not a bad ball. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Tierney. And a strong tackle. He cuts it back. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Number seven, Andrew. Well, it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. And it's played into the centre. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, nothing untoward happened. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Kieran Tierney Albert Sambi Lokonga Arsenal pushing forward with options available clears it away Declan Rice, Said Benrama, for Niles, crossed into the penalty area, and the problem not completely solved. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These Arsenal fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line, and there's not long left now. Support for Obama Young. Oh, a smart save. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Well, not cleared away completely. And they're making a change. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Real chance. Is it going to be? Oh, he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him. Well, nearing the end of the 90 minutes and Arsenal in charge. Can they get over the line? Stuart, interested in your thoughts on their overall performance? Well, their attacking play has been excellent today. However, by throwing so many players forward, they've looked vulnerable at the back, which is why this will be a nervy finish. They just need to hold on here. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. A whistle for full time and a bad day at the... Fill me up with your smile Now the sunshine brings the light Fill me up with a flame I will let you in this game
Stadia in world football. We are at Anfield here in Liverpool. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Liverpool up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Liverpool have given it away. Chances on. Really classy goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. And this is how Liverpool start the game. 
Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Tremendous block. And the cross goes in. And reading it absolutely superbly. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Henderson, and with the goalkeeper. It's opening up for them. Retaining possession proving difficult. Lacazette. Thiago. Henderson has it. Jota and back with Thiago what a save corner kick played in another corner conceded what can they do with this one something to worry about here Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Tomiyasu. And plenty of room in the wide area. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Andrew Robertson. And take it away. Mane. Mane. But nothing comes of it. Thomas. Obama Yang. Now Lacazette, wasteful from Arsenal. Can they hit on the break? There are so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Well, what on earth happened there? Thiago Henderson and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation Mopping up defensively. And that brings... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Henderson. Alexander-Arnold. I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Oh, 
Obama Young. Obama Young going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Mane failed to keep hold of it. Tierney. Lacazette prepared to fire. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Promising looking ball. And a textbook interception. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight, and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon, and then we might get some entertainment. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But they dealt with the threat posed. Marvellous piece of skill. Fabinho. Here is Thiago. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Can they take the lead? Could be. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Lacazette wonderfully weighted pass oh a fine block Lacazette well fantastic reflex action Obama Yang excellent assessment of the situation at the back Andrew Robertson Lacazette, and look at that, a goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. So back underway, following the equaliser. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Diogo Jota, Henderson, and Salah, big injury put away, and a goal in the lead again, fully deserved. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, do they have it in them to level this? And Aubameyang in the centre. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And they will make the change now. Joel Matty not given a moment's peace. And the referee says play on advantage Liverpool. Salah. Well, the ball lost here. Marcinelli. That's a useful cross. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone.
Liverpool up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Intelligent threaded pass here. This is Thiago. And it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Ben Rama. 
Antonio. Liverpool have it once again. Diogo Jota. Sadio Mane now. Not a touch off the defender last of all. So a corner. Well, they fancy a short one. Thiago. A very good tackle. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, in with a chance. Andrew Robertson. And this is Diogo Jota now. Ben Rama. Lanzini. Went in strongly to win the ball. Henderson. And space to exploit, maybe. And it's Salah with the cross. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Throw ins given. Declan Rice. And that is offside. And attempting the through ball. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So 2-0 now. Lanzini. Good defending. Diogo Jota. He's got the right idea with that pass. Perfect tackle. Well, almost at the break, and Liverpool very much in charge here. Stuart, your take. Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game. They've won their individual back. Real chance. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Corner kick played in. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. Yamalenko, able to get a body in the way. Now, what can they do from here? No more time left. First half is... So into the second half, and I must say it was a spellbinding performance by Liverpool in the first 45 here. Diogo Jota. Henderson has it. And Thiago. Is this the moment? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, the action underway again. It's all going Liverpool's way. It's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. It is a decent-looking attack here. Well, space if he goes inside. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Defenders need to cover. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Antonio. And showing fine vision. It's there for him. There it is! A fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Fabinho. 
Matip now. Moving forward effectively. Jota. And return to Sala. Henderson. Now the attack fizzled out. Counter-attacking very much an option. A oh, terrific pass. He's in position. And pulled back. An alert piece of defending. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And an astute piece of defending. Matip. Alexander Arnold. Henderson. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Well, as we get close to full time, no two ways about it, Stuart. Liverpool bossing this one. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Not high quality defending. Fabinho. This is Thiago. Jota and back with Thiago Henderson well no way through Ben Rama on the ball Mikael Antonio dangerous looking attack he made it look simple really The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. And still trying to get the shot off. Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the...
West Ham United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. And it still could be dangerous threat over for now it seems oh Derek this is a big moment here and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again played over and that's easy peasy for the keeper Kieran Tierney oh great vision Marcinelli read it well and I've been watching Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in various countries for a number of years and Stuart, he rarely disappoints well Derek, he's the perfect finisher he's got a great shot on him his movement is excellent and in 1v1 situations you always expect him to score Lokonga Thomas Partey Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Oh, he's given the ball away And the referee is quite rightly letting it go Martinelli and that's an important intervention Kurt Zuma Said Benrama and it's Mark Noble Benrama Noble it might be the moment to get them ahead well goal kick just as it was looking promising Saka. Now Lacazette. Bukayo Saka. Can he play it in? Perfect challenge. I'm not sure why the fans are so upset. I think the referee got that absolutely right. Said Benrama. Ball with Pablo Fornals. And return to Fornals. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. 
But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. Kieran Tierney. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Gabriel. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Lacazette here. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Happy to take on the shot. Still alive. Fisted clear. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. And with that, the first half draws. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Noble. Yarmolenko. And options in the centre. Chance to attack using wit. Antonio. Antonio! Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Can he put them in front? Still possibilities. And it's there for him. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he was slightly disappointed in that first half. He's had no real impact on the game. I just think he needs to work a bit harder to receive the ball. However, I'm sure he'll get better in the second 45. Well, West Ham have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Martinelli. Aubameyang. A really top-notch piece of defending. Noble. Said Benrama. It's with Yarmolenko. And West Ham in a position of menace. Andrei Yarmolenko now. And an astute piece of defending. Martinelli. Albert Sambi Lokonga. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Vladimir Kufal and it's Mark Noble it's a good looking ball in behind in it goes that will greatly help the cause now they only need to keep concentration levels high well a second goal for them here Lokonga, Lacazette, Partey, well let's see what they have in store for them on the break, in with a chance, and there it is, that will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Five minutes left. Partey. The Hammers come away with it.
Yamalenko. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And this could really make certain. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. But he's gone short with it. Noble. And a poor attempt at a challenge and on he goes. And there goes the final whistle. Positivity. Jack it up.
game that should have plenty to say for itself. Leicester City with the kickoff. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Chalar Seyuncu plays alongside Johnny Evans in central defence. Wilfred Ndidi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And Timo Werner starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. Tielemans. Harvey Barnes. Here's Tielemans. Perez. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. A chance to whip it in. And his touch let him down, and it'll be a goal kick. Tielemans. Poor pass under no real pressure. Sloppy in possession from Leicester. Ziyech. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Werner. Throw-ins given. Chelsea couldn't maintain possession. Useful looking ball and running in behind. And it's in! 1 0. They breached the defense. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Lukaku. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Vardy. Here's Tielemans. And saved by the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. Well, they can keep possession now. Christensen. Kai Havertz. Ziyech happy to take on the shot and blocked for now Vardy here's Tielemans Ndidi Tielemans A super tackle and they've won possession Golo Conte counter-attacking very much an option Lukaku in the opinion of the referee that is a penalty an opportunity to level matters oh he's put it wide well he went for the corner but he's made a real mess of that And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks.
Well, underway once more into the second half. And from a Chelsea point of view, it's all about battling back. Barnes. Good technique displayed. Crossing into the middle. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can bring it out now. Timo Werner was an important piece of defending. And high marks for Jamie Vardy based on what we saw in the first 45. What did you make of it? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. And just over the bar, albeit narrowly. Timo Werner. Conte now. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Barnes. Jamie Vardy now. Well cleared away. Losing possession. Can they hit on the break? Rudiger, given away by Chelsea. Vardy. And the keeper getting across to stop it. He's driven in the corner. Well, the header at least made the goalkeeper think. Werner. Havertz! Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? It's really opening up positively for Chelsea. Chance, and in it goes! From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Werner. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. A sloppy pass. Well, Leicester haven't been at their best, but these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to this noise. But can the players respond and find this equaliser? How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Vardy. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Leicester moving the ball with purpose. Shot attempted. Terrific save. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Oh, good vision. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Hudson-Odoi. So the final whistle now, it goes...
right up. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Not the pass he had in mind. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Johnny Evans plays with Chalar Soyuncu in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Could go ahead! Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. A reminder, the food stands will be open after the game. Perez. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Oh, skipping away. So City get things going again. And the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Timely intervention. Vardy. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And the advantage is with City. Tremendous ball played through. Just unable to take advantage of that development. Can he get them level? Important tackle. Lookman. Beautifully disguised ball. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Showing a real will to win the ball. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Jack Grealish. Foden. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Well, the stats show us that Leicester just haven't had that much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Now, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. Well, not hard to read that pass. Just cutting off the supply. Oh, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And possession given away. De Bruyne. Here's Gabriel Jesus. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And he read it well. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Good tackle. The first half here comes to an end. So back in business, the second half underway and City trying to plot a route back into this one.
Ndidi. Jamie Vardy now. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And he's made headway. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Promising looking ball. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Gabriel Jesus. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, it could be on for him here. What a block! Oh, is he going to be punished here? Bernardo Silva. Here's De Bruyne, Foden, Foden, good pressure high up the pitch, oh you don't want to lose the ball in that position, well he tried to place it but off the frame of the goal, yes he's hit the woodwork but really from that distance he should be tucking that away. Madison. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Oh, a lovely ball. Strong but fair tackle. Foden. Well, no stopping him. And pull back. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. You like. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. So back in action. City still behind, but this game very much a contest. That's very good refereeing to let the play flow. A Jose Perez. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. Given away by City. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next take it away and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card Bertrand I must say this looks promising but they took care of the situation defensively De Bruyne Jesus and totaling up oh what an opportunity what late excitement and the match is level so back underway and there we have it six goals divided evenly and the referee sees that as a foul free kick given and there's the whistle all even at the end
but he's a lot more versatile now. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Mount. Now they've lost it. Joao Cancelo. City pushing forward with options available. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. They might be able to get in now. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Grealish. Gabriel Jesus must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Chelsea have it back now. Marcos Alonso. Delightful pass. Werner. Chelsea regaining possession. Mount. The ball with Rodri. And the attack looks promising. Rodri! Oh, denied by the first. Rodri could take the lead. And a goal! 1-0 it is, they've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. And away they go again. What effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. De Bruyne with a chance. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstar. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, nothing comes of it. Marcos Alonso and taking it away De Bruyne good work to regain possession Conte that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack Bernardo Silva the cross is on De Bruyne, and now Rodri, Foden, textbook defending inside the box. And he read it well, intercepting it. Rodri, oh big opportunity, well he stumped it out of there without much fuss. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone. So back in business here, City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Ziyech. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. This could pose problems for the defenders. Ederson, wonderful goalkeeping. Foden.
Moving into the advanced position. Not there to intercept. Well, certainly part of the story in the first half, the performance of Rodri. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Silva might be able to set up the chance. Ronaldo Silva. Is it going to be? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Really getting stuck in. A oh, terrific pass. What can Chelsea do from this position? Mount. Oh, breezing past him. Jorginho. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Kevin De Bruyne. It is a decent-looking attack here. And Bernardo Silva has it. And the problem not completely solved. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it would have been a chance but the run was mistimed, offside. Jesus. Just cutting off the supply. Well, what support these Chelsea fans are giving the team, but time isn't on their side. They... Oh, it strikes the bar! But it wasn't going to count, it's offside. De Bruyne. Gabriel Jesus might really be able to he's in with a chance brilliantly blocked City hungry to add to their lead it's a corner struggling to get it away terrific piece of anticipation nicely cut out Now they've lost it. N'Golo Conte. Far from a good pass. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. It is now with Jorginho. And it's won by Emerick Laporte. Rodri. Ziesch. On to Jorginho. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Rodri. And that is that full time here. And a
A game that should have plenty to say for itself. Leicester City with the kickoff. Well read to ease the pressure. Individual brilliance. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Real chance. He knows more than most about the art of finishing. Romelu Lukaku. So the action underway again. And certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here. Barnes. They look as though they want to make this move count. Tielemans. Jamie Vardy now. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. So the corner played into the box. Now the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Over it comes. Well, not cleared away completely. Threat over for now, it seems. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Pulisic. Pulisic. Havertz. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Tielemans Harvey Barnes Ayose Perez Perez Pony! No shortage of excitement Level again No wonder they're excited So back on the way One goal apiece here Golo Conte an inability to keep hold of the ball there Vardy Jose Perez Ricardo Pereira Ndidi Leicester now in a potentially well the keeper reacted magnificently and now the delivery not the best clearance well, able to survive that attacking push. Mount. Mount. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Still alive. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And Kai Havertz. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Oh, great play. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. A Jose Perez. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Mount. Here's Havertz. Surely. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here.
Well, off and running again, and it was a sublime performance by Chelsea in the first half. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. Harvey Barnes... Oh, he's really opened them up here. And a goal! There he is! And the double! They just can't subdue him! Well, Leicester still trailing here, but this game very much a contest again. And a throw-in forthcoming. Really bright-looking attack. Mount. The ball back with Leicester now. Ndidi Jamie Vardy now Harvey Barnes and do they mean business on this occasion Ndidi Barnes there's a slide draw pass well no way through Ndidi What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Now Chelsea showing good width. But they took care of the situation defensively. Excellent defending. Chelsea throw in here. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Very quick thinking there. Ndidi. Oh, a nice looking pass. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Jorginho. Regained possession. Barnes. The noise these Leicester fans are making is incredible. The players just need to respond with a goal now. And offside it is. A reminder that foul and abusive language So nearing the end, and Leicester City behind in this one, Stuart. Yeah, it's been a performance of contrast, you have to say. Plenty to Oh, play. Stuart, they've got to score! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Ricardo Pereira. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And he saw the situation developing. Excellent vision. He's just got to continue his run. And there it is. A penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. And this could finish it off. And a timely penalty save. <laughs> so the corner played into the box. A goal! How about that? He's put it away. So the current scoreline, 4-2. The pressure to win the ball back. Oh, managing to beat him. Can he take the chance? Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Tielemans. Ianacho. 
and the goalkeeper has full-time men. The referee's whistle.
Hello everyone for our coverage. We pitched up here in the Midlands of England. We're at the King Power Stadium. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Chalar Seyuncu plays alongside Johnny Evans in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside... Hold on, Derek, chance here. Tries to lift it. And that's how to deal with finesse. Well, it's an easy save for the keeper. It wasn't the best option, that's for sure. Ndidi. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And getting in there to intercept. He's in behind. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. And fed forwards. Lookman. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Might still be problematic. Firing it towards goal. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. So City get things going again. And the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Kevin De Bruyne. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Nicely cut out. Uh, smart defending. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Rodri. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. Well, a brilliantly executed free kick. So near, Stuart. Well, he'll have practised that time and time again. It's a fantastic bit of technique, but he just can't get it down in time. Gabriel Jesus. Foden. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? Kavecchi, Iannaccio, waiting. Well, it wasn't the best piece of finishing, in all honesty. Goal kick. Yeah, it was all good until that final effort. Just shows you how devastating they can be on the break, though. Well, sloppy in possession. Jose Perez it did look on for them but not to be good movement and Leicester with the ball again Tielemans can they do something positive on the counter attack Ruben Diaz, De Bruyne, the ball with Rodri. Now the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Surely, and that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Number 10, Jack Grealish. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, 
Whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Chance to do damage. And with the goalkeeper. Vardy. And beyond the last defender, offside. Well, I suppose you could say par for the course from Jack Grealish in the first half. Just what we expected, really, Stuart. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. De Bruyne. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And you don't want to lose possession there. Can he put them in front? Well, it's not going to count. Flag up quickly then. Yeah, he was offside by quite a bit there, and he knew it. Oh, Jose Perez did well to win the ball back. Gabriel Jesus. And it's Gabriel Jesus to take the lead. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box. And the danger is averted. Can they get in behind them? Well read to ease the pressure. Leicester doing well to win back possession. Oh, a lovely ball. But ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, he's been ruled to have taken up an illegal position only just, however, Stuart. Well, he loves running off the back of defenders, but on this occasion, he's just gone a fraction too early. It's a perfect challenge. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And possession given away. Through ball from De Bruyne. And Bernardo Silva has it. And a crucial intervention inside the box. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Perez. At the ready is Ian Acho. Lookman. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Tielemans. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? A really top-notch piece of defending. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. And we've entered the final five minutes. Given away by City. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. There could be trouble here. He's already been cautioned. And he is going to pay the ultimate price. Well, when you're on a yellow card, it was a silly challenge. He just lost his discipline there. And, well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Well, Leicester have to score soon. Time is running out, but these fans can sense a winner coming. And still on the lookout for the goal that... Oh, a goal! Who would have predicted this after the sending? A 
And there's the final whistle, the big headline. Jack it up. Romelu Lukaku. 
And the match begins. Getting forward. Crossing possibilities. Ziyech. Jorginho. Untidy in possession. Gabriel Jesus. And an astute piece of defending. Out of play for a Manchester City throw in. Jesus. The ball with Rodri. And the advantage is with City. Joao Cancelo. Very comfortable when in possession. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge oh, from the Oh, great opportunity here. Pivotal moment defensively. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. And Chelsea have given us away. Grealish. Untidy on the ball. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Lukaku. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Excellent vision. Pulisic. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? So 2-0 now. Playing with purpose and control. The perfect position to read it. Is it going to be? What a love! Please strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Three goals without reply. Foden. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Read it well. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Ruben Diaz. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Can he take advantage? And now he must score. And a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? This looks threatening. And just has to remain calm. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Well, the action underway again. Can City go hunting for an equaliser now? Good movement. De Bruyne. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up.
So back in business, the second half underway, and City try to plot a route back into this one. Jorginho. Lukaku. What a shocking pass, really. Well, a first-half performance that really was top-notch from Christian Pulisic. Some there is a big moment, this. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. And Chelsea with the ball again. Gabriel Jesus... Real chance. Oh, it's unbelievable. Who saw this coming when they were three goals down? Underway once more. Level at 3-3. Really a very poor ball. So, a half an hour remaining. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. Rodri. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Nicely timed tackle. Can they take advantage? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Pressing high to win the ball. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, far from the ideal pass. What can Chelsea do from this position? Not all that convincing defensively. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Really pressing their opponents. Foden. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Top class defending. Foden. Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper, margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, great vision. And just has to remain calm. Will it be Lukaku? And the challenge, crisp and clean. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Still level, but Chelsea on the attack, near the end. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. A very good tackle. And that is it for the 90 minutes.
Excitement in the Parisian air. We're at the Parc des Princes here in the French capital. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from Liga Uber Eats coming right up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Rennes. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. Real chance. Brilliant save. And the flag raised. Offside it is. And a bad pass it was. Well, couldn't keep it. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Mbappe tackling and winning the ball to boot Laborde in possession Flavio Tight moving forward effectively can they nudge in front and there it is the opening goal 1-0 and they'll feel they deserve it so PSG restart the game can they come up with the right answer Verratti Neymar well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't and that pass could be troublesome tight and with that the attack fizzles out well, couldn't quite find his teammate Oh, a nice-looking pass. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. It's a neat move. In possession, Flavio Tait. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. So, 2-0 now. And showing fine vision. Virgo Solberg Melling. Can he take the chance? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And well, they're going for the short one. Marta. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. So very nearly at half-time in this one, and PSG facing something of a headwind. They can play so much better than this. Well, they've struggled in this first half. They've been outfought, outplayed and outrun. They need to improve all aspects of their play. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And that is that for the first half here. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Second half underway here, and PSG really need to lift themselves. Idrissa Gay.
And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Tight. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Running with the ball confidently. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Not a good pass. And Neymar! And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Defensive efficiency personified. Idrissa Gay. In with a chance. Is it going to be? He can't hold on to it. Messi. Possession and patience, the watchwords. A really top-notch piece of defending. And PSG pushing forward with options. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. And play halted, free kick given. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Promising looking ball. Just couldn't capitalise there. Here's Burigo. Good tackle taken away. Perfectly positioned to take it away. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Verratti. Neymar. It's with Martin Terrier. Tight. And so into the final five minutes. Chance to cross. Not really the ideal clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. Mbappe. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Well, deemed to be offside by the merest of margins. Well, it's very close to being the perfectly timed run. But whether it's an inch or a yard, he's still offside. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Well, a good tackle. When you're on a yellow card, you've really got to tread oh so carefully. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And that is that, the final whistle, the big head.
Mbappe. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Levin Kurzawa as fullbacks. Neymar starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And Mauro Icardi starts together with Kylian Mbappe. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Safe pair of hands, did his job. And you don't want to lose possession there. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. And underway again here with PSG in front. Mbappe. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And threaded through by Mbappe. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? So 2-0 now. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Mauro Icardi here. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Messi. A routine save. Oh, lovely ball. Crossing into the middle. Well, it looked like a dangerous ball, but fisted away by the keeper. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Messi. Icardi. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Messi. It needs an accurate cross. Icardi! And the keeper diving to thwart him. Messi with the corner. And a goal kick is the outcome. Ristic. And intercepted it. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession, and that's been because of their ability to... Oh, win. wait a minute. They could be in here. And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. So back with the action, and PSG handing out a very harsh lesson here. Lost possession, Wijnaldum. Mbappe. And he keeps going. Corner awarded to PSG. Fired over by Messi. Not the best clearance. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And that is that for the first half. And so the second half commences here. And it was one-way traffic in the first half. They're going to need all their time if they have designs on a comeback. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Beautifully weighted ball. Contest 4 0.
He continues his run. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Valer Germain. Well, possibilities in the centre. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Neymar. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. 30 minutes to go then. Now they've lost it. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Messi. No foul. It should be. A goal! This is attacking football at its finest! My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Icardi. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. And he saw the situation developing. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. This might have potential. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. inside the final 15 minutes that's a nice looking ball now the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did and the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG and having already received a yellow card he's walking a very fine line a chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Gay. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. That was showing excellent vision but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Ristich. Well, not far away from the final whistle, and PSG very much in control. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, it could be on for him here. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the big story. Hello, dear.
Diamond don't tuck in when they lose possession, and the number 10 doesn't recover, the holding midfield player could be in for a really difficult game today. Valère Germain. Crisp tackling. An unforced error, you've got to say. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Germain. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, they've given him too much space. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Jody Chotard. And Ferry's in possession. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Tremendous block. Brilliant save. Let's see about the delivery. An example of how to press. Well, that is how to play advantage. Getting in there to intercept. Chotard. Couldn't keep it. Terrier, perfect tackle. Valère Germain. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball and very deftly cut out. Lovely, incisive pass. And the decision offside here. Laborde. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Jordan Ferry. Giving the ball away. Virgo Solberg Melling. And he read it well defensively. Tight. And a creative look about this. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Marta. In possession, Flavio Tight. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Difficult to stop him. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Now, what can they do from here? I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, it sat up for him, but not seriously troubling the... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Opportunity in the wide area. Cuts it back. In it goes! The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Could level it. 
And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Might be able to produce from this position. Well, let's see about the cross. No nonsense clearance. Breaking at pace. They need to get bodies back. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, couldn't keep it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. La Bonne. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Takes on the shots. Well, he tried to get it to dip right at the end of its flight. Well, it's great technique. He strikes it so cleanly, but it just doesn't come down in time. Sambia. Jordan Ferry. In possession, Germain. Germain. And offside. Well, close one. Twenty minutes remaining. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Going for the dink. Oh, a finish of real class. No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. So back underway following the equaliser. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Jean-Dan Ferry. Now in possession, Savanier. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Oh, a superb save. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Must take the lead here and read the danger magnificently well if he gets this wrong a penalty and a sending off but he was spot on with his challenge a fine reading of the situation tension building still level it is to be a throw in Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Five minutes left. And providing width. A very timely interception. Goalkeeper's ball, and was always going to be... Chota. Junior Zambia. And Ferry's in possession. And we will have just one additional minute. It's a weighted pass. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager. And that's why he's offside. Well, the referee... This hesitating, kryptonite desire set my heart afire.
Luigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Levin Kurzawa as fullbacks. Jorginho Wijnaldum plays alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And Mauro Icardi starts together with Kylian Mbappe. It should be. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. And the ball is moving again. And the question is, how will PSG reply to that setback? And space for the cross. Wijnaldum. Icardi. Gay. 
Read it well. Into the advanced position. But nothing comes of it. Over the touchline for a throw in. Tight. Well read to put an end to that attack. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Able to get a body in the way. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. And successfully cut out. Mbappe. Now with Hakimi. And a bad pass it was. Marta. Terrier. Losing possession. Mbappe. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Oh, could be a chance. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. La Bob. And that's an important intervention. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, he didn't trouble the goalkeeper, but it wasn't a straightforward chance, you've got to say. Terrier. He's found a pocket of space. Oh, fancy footwork. And reading it absolutely superbly. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Icardi. And now Gay. Messi. Not to be this time. Laborde. It's with Martin Terrier. Martin. Well, almost at the interval and a story of PSG chasing the game. Stuart, what have you made of their first half performance? Well, it's been a tight first half so far. Oh, they, they could be in here, Stuart. Mbappe's finish, his goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And so the half-time whistle has gone. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Mbappe. Neymar. Happy to take on the shot. And a really good diving stop. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Terrier. Here's Burigo. And very deftly cut out. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, who wouldn't want to have Kylian Mbappe in their so I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And a good-looking ball. Opportunity it is. And there is the goal to give them the lead with 10 men. 
Disappointing for PSG to concede the goal. Now let's see if they can attack with vigour. And will it be the leveller? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. And problem solved for now. And that was a very fine read. And Neymar! Oh, he's missed it! Well, he'd be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there. Did well to win the ball back. Ronaldo. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. Tight. It's with Mata. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. He made it look simple, really. Can they hit on the break? Well, if PSG score now, these fans will go wild. What a finish we've got on our hands here. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Well, the ball lost here. Tight. Laborde. Can they grab the lead late on? And reading it absolutely superbly. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Tight. Had a chance to whip it in here. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Wijnaldum. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Well, a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage. Well, it's such a key moment in the game. That's a really good save. Corner kick played in. And it still could be dangerous. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Now the pass not finding its target. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. Putting his body on the line. And now passing it through. They cannot be separated here. And it's...
Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And Mauro Icardi starts together with Kylian Mbappe. He might be able to profit from the wide position. But he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Mollet. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Pulls it back. It's still alive. And problem solved for now. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Jody Chota. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Still looking to get the shot off. Jordan Ferry. Can he finish? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Messi. Now with Hakimi. Well read to win possession back. Now he must favour the cross. Wijnaldum. Kylian Mbappe. Wonderful block. Oh, it's gone in! as they extend their advantage to two goals. Well, a second goal for them here. Savanier. And we saw the situation developing. Throw in here for PSG. Messi, and out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Well, that's a moment he would like to airbrush from history. He's thrown it straight to the opposition. PSG, as you can see, have not enjoyed that much possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Really good interception. Potential danger. Can he finish this? And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? So the action continues. It's been all PSG so far. And you sense there could be extra punishment dished out. Mauro Icardi here. Flag raised for offside. Disappointing pass. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Mbappe. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. 
And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. So back in business here and PSG dominating the proceedings in the first half. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? The referee knew that was foul play, but you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Idrissa Gay. Mbappe. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Jody Chotard. Valer Germain. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Icardi. Oh, right in the nick of time. An unforced error, you've got to say. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. Messi. And space for the cross. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. He's given it away. It's an accurate cross. Well, he chance to finish. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Mbappe. And threaded through by Mbappe. Well timed tackle. Well, beating his opponent. Good work to regain possession. Can he put it away? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Loves to attack from the wide areas. Oh, breezing past him. A long way out. Goodness gracious me, it's a special, special goal from miles out. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? And the body in the way. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And pulled back. And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Germain. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? And the keeper will happily collect that one. There will be one minute added on at the end. Florent Mollet. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat.
anyone to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too And this confrontation is underway. Well, you can't really head them any better than that, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. It might be. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Shot attempted. Well, good effort, but he's placed it wide. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see oh, from him? A big moment here, Derek. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Savanier, and the pass could do damage. Defended well. And it's gone behind for the corner. Well, terrific skill. And unable to keep possession. On the offensive. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, not quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. Ristic. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. Terrier for attacking possibilities. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. They just cannot seem to keep possession today. Well, they've lost the ball. Junior Zambia. They've won back possession. Laborde. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And a throw in forthcoming. It's with Bourigo. Intercepting it intelligently. Oh, 
a vital interception. Valère Germain. A very good tackle. A fine reading of the situation. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Played into the box. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Well, no stopping him. And a timely intervention. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just did... Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. He's blocked it. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well read to win possession back. On and on he goes. Pressing high to win the ball. And they could face difficulties here. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. 30 minutes to go then. And intercepted it. Well, they've given him too much space. Can they get themselves in front here? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. It looks promising. Simple for the keeper. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And that was a very fine read. Can they forge ahead? And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. A possession lost, intercepted. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Zambia and Ferries in possession Savanier and in the perfect position to read it and a goal at this stage could be decisive it wouldn't quite go in for him couldn't make the breakthrough well that was a decent chance he needed to make the goalkeeper work really we still wait for the opener and they're making a change. Terrier. Oh, good looking run. Can he put them in front? Well, it might still work out for them. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. And unable to keep possession. Very quick thinking there. And that'll end up being the keeper's ball. And victory beckons! 
Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And that is it for the 90 minutes.